Hello everyone, back at the volcano for my last day and last night here in Iceland. I'm gonna try to fly my $400 drone, which for drones is very, very cheap. And try to survive the wind, the lava and the sandstorm. I had already had the opportunity to visit the eruption site two times in the last couple of days, but I wanted more drone shots. But sadly, tonight's weather conditions were the worst ones yet. The wind was blowing very hard in our direction, which made the last kilometer of the hike too dangerous for me to get closer to the crater. I'm here with a friend that lives in Iceland. He's a professional photographer, videographer and drone pilot. And he's extremely annoyed at the <laughs> weather and drone conditions. There's way too many drones in the, in the air interfering with his work. And I'm trying to annoy him a bit more. This is Jeroen, and he has, in my opinion, the best aerial photos and videos of the last three volcanic eruptions in Iceland. And flying my $400 beginner drone, the DJI Mini 2, next to his professional $3,000 DJI Mavic 3 Pro was frankly scary. The volcano right now is just insane. The lava has been overflowing the crater because there was some kind of blockage. And now there's a lava fall, which is the equivalent of a waterfall of lava and it's absolutely insane so that's the first thing i tried to film with my drone on today's mission but sadly enough there's way too much wind so i just wasted one of my two only batteries trying to get to the crater but it's quite far it's like 1.5 kilometers from where we're standing and we can't get any closer at this stage so it's very very frustrating it's just playing a waiting game hoping that either the wind goes down or that the conditions allow us to get a bit closer later on tonight but i can't stay too long either because tomorrow we're we have, a, we have a flight so yeah just enjoying my tea and let's see let's see what happens so i just witnessed one of the bigger drawbacks of smaller drones compared to professional ones it's resistance against the wind because whilst i had just tried to fly against the wind with my dji mini 2 full throttle with no success jeroen's professional drone was able to fly in those same conditions without any problem Alright, time has come, let's give it its last shot. There you go. Okay, it is handling the wind better than before. The earlier there were easily dozens of people flying in the road, which was really interfering with the remote signal, which can be very dangerous. Alright, we're getting closer to the crater. I'm more than one kilometer away now. I also found it very hard to apply the right light settings on my drone to film the lava because the lava was still a strong light source so I had to darken my image to find some details in the volcano itself but I overcompensated and now I lost all the details in my surroundings which is a shame. I'm trying to get closer to the crater as it moved high and right now I'm 200 meters above the crater but The biggest thing that worried me during all of my flights was the heat. I was afraid that my drone would melt, so I usually never flew lower than 120 meters. I just wished that my drone had a zoom to get closer to the action without the risk of losing everything. Alright, time to go away from the crater and try something else. One full battery on the DJI Mini 2 is approximately 30 minute flight time. But in harsher conditions, where more is being asked out of the motor, I actually have something closer to 25 minutes flight. And I was not planning on risking a crash landing on the lava. Alright, 30% left, which is honestly great. I'm, like, I'm getting closer anyways. Oof, I love those shots. Like the ones are pointing down. and then the 
let's see what happens. This was the last shot I took before flying back and I decided to risk it all by flying as close as 70 meters above a stream of lava because I love the patterns. Uh, terrible noise. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Yes, yes. So this is a signal telling me that I have less than 20% battery. But I really want to film this still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't be so dramatic. 60 meters. Oh, I see it. There you go. That's you. Oh. There you go. I am so, so, so happy. So happy. I really thought tonight I came here for nothing. I mean, this, except looking at a beautiful beautiful nature phenomenon but i really came to fly my drone you know and i know i have a very cheap one that doesn't really go well against the wind and definitely not against lava i mean i'm really testing it in the harshest conditions you could imagine right but no we were able on my last battery i don't even know how, what time it is i have to work i have to wake up at 6 a.m so in a couple of hours i have to have one hour and a half walking one hour driving but i don't care i can't wait i can't wait to see the results